Many states that I've worked at have been able to work with agencies in order to find employees that can fit niches in my business. All of the jobs that we create for the employees have to be positions that are equally as productive as a non-challenged employee. The trick is, is just to take elements for certain jobs, blend them into a new position that they're capable of doing and doing at a productive level. So I end up with another productive employee for my business. That's the payback. It was cost effective almost immediately. And mind you, he, he's got severe autism. He spent most of his life in an institution. That was the thing that sold me probably more than anything was knowing that, that he could do the job that I needed here. The investment is relatively low, but the return is extremely high. And it's all about a good hire. We spend a lot of time making sure that, that there's a good fit between the, the job that we have and the skills that they bring. One of the guys that we have that works for us with a developmental disability, he can work from home. He doesn't have to worry about commuting. It's a really important process for the company, and so we certainly have to invest in that to make sure that our customers are getting what they need. He really has evolved as, as a young man. The one thing I, I love about Hayden is I can set my watch on him being here. and He's, he's pulling his weight. Um, we find that these individuals are tremendously reliable. They're always available for work. Um, very f rarely are they ever sick. Um, they come in, they're very focused on their job at hand, um, and it, overall it's a win. So what we've done is ask them to perform a physical task in the interview process to be sure that they can perform those tasks. We also work very close with their job coach to be sure that they're the exact right fit for us. And what they're able to do now is not only train Brock how to do their job, but train us and my staff how to train Brock. And now I see the light at the end of the tunnel. My staff is, is actively part of the process of training Brock in his new tasks, and it doesn't take much. Um, we found that he responds very well to pictures. It's, it's developing into a flawless uh, procedure by which to, to, as we figure out a new task for Brock to do, take a picture, put it on a piece of paper, and then uh, he looks at the picture, and bam, he, he knows what to do. Maybe providing things in a more oral fashion or it may be giving them visual cues to do their work. And in fact, visual cues is something that we're trying to get everybody here at Children's to do. People can see very quickly the right way and the wrong way to do something by a picture versus a bunch of words. Um, and so we've really been able to integrate some of their skill set into how we train other staff. Anything I was skeptical about is, uh, is definitely a thing of the past. I'll be completely honest, I was concerned, but really sitting down and explaining that what the expectations were, that nothing should, should change as far as the quality of service goes. But in fact, we're looking to add um, another position after the first of the year. I'm definitely open, and I would almost say actively seeking another, employing another individual with the development of disability, as anything has to be in my business, because we have at least 50 competitors. Everything I do here has to be thought through, is it profitable and cost effective? The state really does a great job of removing obstacles and barriers and really maximize your benefit. So I would certainly recommend it. It's really been a great thing for our business and for me personally, too. It's also created a culture of diversity in our stores, which we think makes us an advantage over our competition. The values that they can pass on to your employees is beyond measure. As far as uh, questions I've been asked from past business people, well, what if the person doesn't work out and we have to let them go? I mean, I'm worried about being possibly getting a lawsuit. It's never happened. I've let numerous individuals go. You know, it's like if, uh, if you don't take a chance and you don't give somebody a try, how will we ever know? So there is, there's no reason to be fearful of that. You will end up with an excellent employee if you just give a little bit of time and we have great support from the agencies. So my challenge to all businesses is this. Find a way to employ one or two individuals at your location. I guarantee you, you'll be happy you did. It'll be good for your organization and it'll have the largest impact on reducing the roles of unemployed in that group of people.